episode 74. You are listening to the new Glam Gal podcast, the podcast where style meets confidence. Conquer the frustration of trying on clothes and learn to dress and love the body you are in. There are no size or weight requirements here. I'm your host, Miss J. Join me, won't you? Hey, Glam Gal, welcome back to the podcast. We're going to close out our holiday party. I'm going to leave you all to cleaning out your cupboards, your closets, your cabinets. Soon that spring cleaning frenzy will begin. The desire to Marie Kondo everything you own will take hold. Then all the magazines will start to talk about spring cleaning. Your favorite bloggers will talk about how they're cleaning out their pantries, redoing their makeup drawers. Some of you may even be into the capsule wardrobe craziness that tends to happen this time of year. The idea of making yourself over is so appealing. The idea of making yourself over through some external thing is even more appealing. If only you had the right closet organization system, you'd magically feel better. If only you had the right amount of clothing, a la a capsule wardrobe or minimalist wardrobe, you'd feel better. If only you had the right combination of minimalist makeup that you could maximize, you'd feel better. And I'm not knocking all of these things. But I want you to hear me out. If your New Year's resolutions are really all about feeling better, then I have some good news for you. You have the ability to feel better with the thoughts that you think. It doesn't require some newfangled organization system. The perfect capsule wardrobe, as if such a thing exists, or the right combination of beauty products. You're capable of feeling better about yourself and about your life for free. No giant project to overhaul your whole life is needed. So this week's episode, I want to talk to you about New Year's resolutions in general, but I want to use the example of creating a stylish wardrobe to illustrate the point. We do style and confidence around here, and if you're new to the podcast, you know I discuss style and confidence, style and mindset work in each episode. So while I do think it's important to have a stylish wardrobe, style as you define it, And I believe style is so personal. So that definition is going to mean various things for different women. And I love working with my clients to create their own personal style descriptor statement about what they feel and therefore what they like to wear to create and help foster that feeling. But I also know that clothing is literally a pile of fabric. It has no magical capabilities other than the thoughts we have about it. So if you are going to give yourself a style makeover this next year, and you're going to fully embrace the idea of a new roaring 20s, I'm all for it, boo-boo. I am here for this. But I want you to know that if the goal is to make yourself feel better about yourself, then you have to confront two things. Not just the external wardrobe or the pile of fabric. You're going to have to also confront your thoughts about yourself currently with an eye towards what you would like those thoughts to be. Your thoughts then will generate your feelings and then you can take action from there. You can take action from thinking stylish thoughts and having a confident feeling about yourself. That's how I want you to pick out your new wardrobe. That's how I want you to give yourself a style makeover. From the inside out, thoughts, feelings first, followed by stylish action. So this is really the mindset portion of this is I want you to, yes, go to your closet. I want you to tap into what your thoughts and feelings are about any particular item. But no, it's not the item itself that's causing those thoughts and feelings. It's you. It's always been you, my darling, which is amazing news. 
We don't have to look to the external world to make ourselves feel better about ourselves. We have that capability, whatever we decide to purchase or not. From a style perspective, I had a really interesting conversation with one of my gals who's just wrapping up style school. She's been with me for several weeks. We've had some really amazing conversations. Um, If she's listening to this, she's a Miss B. Thank you, Miss B. You've inspired this conversation because I realized during our last session together that we're definitely going to have some continued conversations in the future. But for now, our last conversation was about how to build a wardrobe. And I don't know that I've conveyed this well enough to all of you. It's one item at a time. I know that oftentimes you'll hear me talk about outfits or an outfit or a wardrobe. And I talk about a multitude of clothing items. But really, the most practical way to build a stylish wardrobe that you love is one item at a time. I know that for some of us, it can be daunting to think of creating a capsule wardrobe and then hitting Pinterest or Google to find out what the heck that is and then trying to model it off some list that doesn't fit your lifestyle or some influencer who definitely doesn't have your life. But what if we just scaled back? We didn't think in terms of wardrobe. We didn't even think in terms of outfit. We created the wardrobe of your dreams one item at a time. We checked for fit. We checked for quality. We checked to see if it actually fits our lifestyle. We started to ponder questions about how it fits the woman we want to present ourselves as to others. Does it fit that future self, that fabulous woman that you envision yourself to be? Does this item fit that criteria? And if not, then it's just not for you. But if we go from that paradigm of not having to put together an outfit or a whole wardrobe all at once, we can take a very meaningful look at each individual item. We can ask ourselves whether this fits the future vision of ourselves that we have. We can ask, does this actually fit me? Does this actually Is this the type of quality that I want to wear? How many wears can I get out of this item? When we're not worried about putting together an outfit and having things go in pairs or in triplets, then we can really evaluate whether this thing is meant to go home with us or not. Whether it's worth our time to actually click through to the cart and purchase it and then have to worry about a return. We can be more thoughtful in our selection when it's one item at a time. So my darling glam gals, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to, yes, do that style makeover. Let's overhaul that wardrobe, boo-boo. Let's get you to be that woman you've always envisioned. Let's help you dress like her and stroll like her and conquer and slay like her. Let's scale it back. Let's go one item at a time. Now you can do this on your own, of course, listening to podcast episodes and gleaning all this information. Or you can join me for a webinar on January 20th, 2020, where I walk you through how to define your own personal style. It'll be a game changer on how you approach shopping, how you approach shopping your own closet, And it'll probably save you a lot of money in the long run. To register for the webinar, How to Define Your Personal Style, go to judithgatan.com forward slash webinar. All right, let's get it, glam gals. Miss J out. 